Okay, I gotta be completely upfront about this one. This is not fair. I mean, this is this is like not fair to, to literally everyone else who requested again. Cause, cause, see, the thing about the micro review format is that it, 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 part of it is that I, I play a game for a little bit and I give you you know brief thoughts about you know the competency of the game, you know how, how decent I think it is. But that's based off of like you know early impressions. It's not like a full you know hardcore review. Here's the thing about Crash Bandicoot Warped. I have, I, I have played it before. I have played it a lot. It was one of the first PlayStation games I ever owned. And I have beaten this game more times than I care to count. And, and by beaten it, I mean like beaten it 100%. Like, repeatedly. Like, I mean, I have played the living shit out of this game. So, the idea of sitting down and giving you my brief thoughts about this particular game seems a little silly, uh, in a way, since I, I, I know a lot about it already, and, and, and so, so you're probably gonna get more. In fact, I'm trying my best in, 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 prepare, in preparing for this review, I was trying my best in, like, omitting information so it, it wouldn't run too long, because I, I know a lot about the game, so I'm gonna try to give you a brief overview of the experience, rather than, you know, everything, which I could also give, but that wouldn't be fair to everyone else who has requested a micro-review. So we're gonna get right down to it, uh, and explain that Crash Bandicoot Warp is the third Crash game in the series. Yes, that is something that you could not have figured out without me. That is, that was important. I'm glad I started off with that. What the hell is my problem? Okay, listen, it's a platformer for the original PlayStation, and it's probably the best Crash game ever made. Some like to say Crash 2 is better. I don't agree. Crash 2 was good. But I think Warped really perfected the whole thing. I, the issue I have with Crash 2 is that it was really repetitive. It just had a habit of, re of rehashing the same old thing, whereas Warped has a very nice variety to it, and, and, I, and it doesn't overstay its welcome, and I really appreciated that about Warped. Uh, on top of that, uh, the core mechanics have been, you know, ironed out, and they're really, they're really spot on at this point. It gets away with the early 3D platformer uh, curse of having a terrible camera. Cause, let's be honest, I don't care whether you're really playing Conker or Mario 64, the camera in the early 3D platformers was always questionable. Like, it was tolerable at times, but let's be honest, the, those controls have an age well when it comes to the camera at times. Crash Bandicoot always got away with it though, because Crash's stages always operate on a track. And it's either side to side at times, or it's it's forward or backwards. So that it, sometimes the stages loop around. But the point is, you're always on a set, set path. So the camera is always in a very specific spot. It's never in a spot where you can't see, and that helps a lot. And it gives the game a bit of an edge over its competition. As I said, the level variety is very good. Um, the entire premise of Warp is that you now have to travel back through time to save the crystals and the gems uh, from. Cortex, who's now utilizing time travel to get them, as opposed to present day, since you already stopped him from doing that in Crash 2. So now we are going. It's a time travel plot, but it's not not a not a bad one, and and it makes sense, and it it, it adds a new new variety and depth to the levels, since now we can do go to prehistoric areas, and uh, really it 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 it, it, uh, it gives a limitless sort of pool of level ideas, and and it's it's pretty cool in that regard. Boss fights are appropriate and fun, actually. These are some of the better boss fights I've found on the original PlayStation and in the Crash series in general. The graphics hold up extremely well for an original PlayStation game, and the music is, I, I dare say, legendary. There are plenty of songs in this game that many gamers will probably know by heart, as this was a very popular game at the time, one of the biggest titles for the original PlayStation. It's also worth mentioning that this is also the first Crash game that allows you to play as Crash's sister Coco, which I always thought was kind of cool. I, I, I like the idea of doing that. Uh, especially whenever you jump into a portal that's meant for Coco, Crash will actually fall straight through it. Face plant on the ground, which I always got a bit of a kick out of for some reason. This was always one of my favorite games for the original PlayStation, and as I said, it actually holds up really well. It, it, it can be put up there with a lot of modern day platformers, and in many ways, I think it's better than a lot of them. It's, it's one of the best platformers I've ever played in my life, to be honest. Like, honestly. It's one of my favorite original PlayStation games, and I highly, highly, highly recommend you give it a try if you have it. Especially if you're a fan of Crash Bandicoot. 
So with that, until next time, this is Darkness, and I bid you all a fond farewell.